Hello. So, I made a substantial improvement to the UI. I figured I'd show you the improvement and then teach you how to do it yourself, because you're probably going to want to do this in your own games. So we've got the same buttons, but, as you can see, when you highlight them, it gives you a clue as to what's going to happen. And hopefully this will make it a lot easier to tell what's going on, because you can see what's going on. Now the way that you go about doing this, uh, if you've noticed the buttons don't actually have any uh, anything other than on click. So what you need to do is you need to add an event trigger object script to this. You can just you know add new, uh, sorry not add new, um, add component and then type event tr into the search and you'll see it. Once you've added it, you can add all sorts of events. And I've chosen to add on pointer enter and on pointer exit. And I've added one of these event triggers to every one of these buttons. Now this can bite you in the butt if you are doing some complicated fall through stuff, but you're probably not, so that's fine. Um, in this case, what I've done is I've hooked every single one of these buttons up to a script that specifically shows the visual for its specific uh, object. So I've got all the visuals down here. These six are the visuals. And I just turn the one on that I need to turn on. And I do that by simply assigning the uh, the on pointer enter to this show pull pipe or show pop cable or whatever it needs to be done. And then on the exit, I send it the hide. See? So this is a really simple way to set it up. It requires no coding at all. Uh, and it works great. So that's how you can do this sort of thing. It's not real easy to do this in code. It's much easier to do it by using their interface. So go ahead. It's there for you to use. But you have to know where to find it, and now you do. That's it.